keeping your feet together and turned in. The tea service was next. You have to hold the pot with both hands. Geishas have a lot of rules. Put it on the table once. You pour the tea a certain way, pick it up a certain way, hand it a certain way. Arigato. I have so much respect for a geisha. I can't imagine doing that every day. So, Jessica and Casey, now that you've learned how to act like a geisha, we have some special guests for you to really put you to the test. Oh. They bring in these two Japanese businessmen. <laughs> and they want us to serve them tea. Ken-san. It was pretty intimidating because they said that normally to become a geisha, it takes five years of training. And we had less than five hours. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Both hands. Okay, no. You can use both hands. The whole ritual of a geisha is a very submissive thing, and you want to please the man. You want the man to think you're beautiful, and you want to be the most popular geisha. <laughs> well, it's kind of far away. <laughs> I have sweat dripping off my chin. I was doing everything wrong. I was reaching across the table. These poor men were looking at me like, this is not a geisha. <laughs> Can I have something? <laughs> Somebody? Let me pour yours. Such poise, you know. Like that. <laughs> 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 I failed. I was told that I failed, but I think that overall I did great. That guy has no idea what he's missing out on. You'll always be my geisha. Thank you, honey. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> We've experienced the old world of being geisha. We want to experience the modern world and see what Harajuku girls are all about. So we went to this department store. Oh, Check my it gosh. out. Wow. It's like a dollhouse. Look at it. Okay. Bye. You guys are adorable. Rad. Do you want to see some of the. Oh, yeah. yeah. I would love to. Please. So this, this is a, a Lolita style. Little, little, little Lolita. Sausage. OK. So you have to tell me all about the Harajuku girl. Well, the Harajuku girl is all about self-expression and being free, because in tradition, a Japanese woman are very repressed. Um, men were more dominant. But with the Harajuku, you can be out there very creative. It's more empowering. I adore their bravery. Hey, 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 hey. Look at this. Oh! <laughs> shooky, shooky. All right, we found Jessica's. We were trying to learn everything about Harajuku girls and wanted to get dressed up like them and see what it felt like. Are you guys ready? Yeah! Come on out! You know we have it better in the boys. Oh! Yes. A little bit more adultish. Yes, you know we have it. The clavage. Yes. There's definitely something free about the Harajuku girls, like an explosive creativity that they just have to get out. They can't be the reserved Japanese woman. They want to express themselves and say, no, we can be this if we want to. And I love that. <laughs> Rio had told me, Casey and Ken, that a lot of women in Japan go through the surgery of changing their eyes, and we had to go to a clinic and meet somebody that was considering it. Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm Jessica. Hi. Ken. Ken. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So why is it that you want to have the surgery? Because some Japanese consider the bigger the eyes are, the more beautiful. And I wanted to have bigger eyes like you do. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> it kind of set me back a little bit because I don't understand why a Japanese woman would want to change the beauty of their eyes because I look at them and that's the exotic part about them. And why would she want to take that away from herself? How long have you been considering having the surgery? Since I was a high school girl. Was that a pressure in high school? Does... Yeah, like somebody told me if I'm sleepy when I'm fully awake <laughs> because my eyes are so... So that Same. has stuck, so that's, told, that yeah. stuck with you and made you insecure? Yeah. I used to use glue oh. to put, put on my eyelid. I could relate to what Sayaka was going through because I obsess over things that have been criticized. I've been told I was fat. I've been told I was a pig. So it was interesting how we could really understand, actually, what she was going through when initially we thought it was shocking. If you decide to go through with this procedure, what's the process? It's not the screen is There's a way of cutting it, actually. Mm -hmm. I want to see. Wow. So it's removing that small part of the skin. But first, I just could not stop thinking, how could someone want to do this? But then I started thinking, you know, why, well, why is this different? Instead of big boobs here, women want big eyes. So he's folding part of the eyelid in. Yeah, okay. That's how it look. I was really impressed that she wanted to share her insecurities with us, and I'm glad she did. We decided to have a fashion show to celebrate all the different looks that we've seen in Japan. It was our last night in Japan. We really wanted to celebrate all the different looks that we've seen in Japan. So we decided to have a fashion show. It was amazing because we were on a rooftop with all of Japan surrounding us. Rio was the first person that introduced us to Japan, so we couldn't imagine doing a fashion show without her. I have to tell you that Japan has been such an amazing experience oh, for us. It really has. You know, so we called upon our friends over at the uh, Harajuku Mall to bring all of their friends together and, and really address us. I'm very excited. You guys showing off all of your beauty, and we're going to try and fit in. Yes. <laughs> Harajuku girls were very sweet and kind and wanted to help transform us. Hello, everyone. Yeah. Welcome to our fashion show. Tonight, we present the many women of Japan. There were all different kinds of girls there, all different expressions of beauty. It was great. You could tell a person's personality by what they wore. It was really liberating and free and, and fun. And it was the feeling of, wow, I've experienced Tokyo. we had learned all along here in Japan is that there's a freedom in releasing yourself from your normal identity. I was on fire. It was empowering to take on the Harajuku girls. everybody cheer you on. You feel their excitement. It was incredible. <laughs> For me, Japan has been an overall breathtaking experience. It's all about just being 
who you are. And no matter what kind of clothes you put on, no matter what kind of makeup you put on, it's all about finding that beauty. 